hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Rosalind Kihamba if you're new here we talk on relationship faith and family in a Christian perspective so ensure you click that subscribe button to join this family thank you so much for them that are returning what would I do without you I'm so pleased to find you here again and for the first person to comment on my last video the shout outs goes to one emily wanjiko and thank you so much emily for being the first one to comment on my last video if you want a shout out pause pause right now drop a comment and you receive it and today i'm with one person who has been on my shout out none other than my sister welcome so much she's the first guest on this channel Kari Busana. asante tell us your name my name is mary kiamba and yeah i'm glad to be here you're happy? Yeah, first guest. First guest. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what an achievement. So today we are having a sister tag. You know, my sister came by and I was like, wow, what an opportune time to do a video. And today we have 15 questions. We are going to have 15 questions we, where I'll be asking her. She'll be answering and I'll also be answering. And it will just get fun. You'll know us more. And I'll also discover something, one or two, about her. Mm. Number one, who has the biggest appetite? <laughs> That's <laughs> obvious. It's obvious. The body speaks for itself. <laughs> she has the biggest appetite. <laughs> Question two. <laughs> what is your most memorable argument? Uh, there's one time we argued, and it was, I think for her, it was time to just move out. But she didn't, you didn't have a good way to tell me. She could not find a better way to tell me, to inform me that she wants to move out. You know, I was like her mother, you know, I stayed with her. So there's this time she comes and every week she'll just come with issues. And the bottom line was she wants to live on her own. My goodness, we had such a heated argument throughout the week and I felt like, yeah, it's made up, but it's high time you just move out. <laughs> so you really wanted me out anyway. <laughs> no, I didn't want you out. I think it's that argument you you started. You know, you just started. You know, if you want to find fault in someone, you can't miss it. Yeah. So that was you. And you? Your argument? Mostly it's the things you actually spoken about. I don't like cooking. And you'd argue about your yeah, house chores. I'm supposed mm -hmm. to cook and I yeah. kind of duties. <laughs> House chores. What is one thing your sibling can do that you can't do? I think for me, you've just said it. I really don't speak out. I keep a lot of things to myself and I just don't call people out. Mm -hmm. So I suffer a lot instead of just coming out clean and saying the issues I have or calling what out people. What you want. Yeah. For me, it's just the way you are spontaneous. <laughs> you know, for me, if I want to do something, I really have to plan, yeah. replan, and plan, <laughs> then plan, then do it. But from her, for you, you just do things randomly. There's an event, you're going. <laughs> There's something coming up at two and she's out. <laughs> and I'm thinking, whoop, you have to inform me two I weeks too. <laughs> I don't just do things like that. So yeah, I wish I just could be that spontaneous. Life would be easier. Finally, compliment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can't just have negatives. <laughs> Question number four, who is the friendliest? Of course, I'm the friendliest. <laughs> no debate. Oh my goodness, but I know people are, are, people are like, some people will be thinking like, no, this is the friendliest. Actually, she's the friendliest. I'm very poor at keeping friends. Okay, like keeping friends. Mary will really go to lens to catch up with friends, like visits, <laughs> like what she's doing right now. <laughs> yeah, so, but for me, I'm not that kind of person. You might even think I'm your friend, but <laughs> it's in your head, my sister, my brother. You also don't I... like new friends. Yeah. You, have, you still keep your old friends. My from, old friends. <laughs> from nursery school. <laughs> Question number five, who is the most creative? That's definitely Rosie. Definitely. YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> I do just, I just Family come up with... gatherings. Yeah, I come up with things that I'm... Even me, sometimes they just shock me. I'm like, huh? I thought of that. 
yeah, family, family gathering zoom meetings <laughs> yeah zoom meetings and she was here saying we can't have a, a family zoom meeting and like why hey and you've had two successful zoom meetings so question number six who always had the messiest room <laughs> ah! now why did this question have to be here <laughs> That's Rosie. That's why he's here with us. <laughs> yes, I'm the messiest. This girl is tidy. You have to clean up after her. She leaves everything everywhere. I yeah. can't even study unless everything is in one place. And you mess up everything. For me, I survive and things are all over. Like, my books are always on the seat. Others are even under the pillow. <laughs> Question number seven. <laughs> Who takes longer to get ready in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> it's such a joy to answer. The show's late for our wedding. <laughs> late for I'm everything. Not late. late for work every day. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not late. late. For church. <laughs> even if you plan to meet up even in a month, you'll still be late. You have to keep waiting. Okay. Anyway. Bastard. <laughs> um I, I take long to prepare and maybe it's just assuming that oh i'll just do this one and two i i have my cloth there I just shower get into the bathroom and get out hey it ends up taking forever yeah. so if i plan to meet you at 12 just <laughs> meet me at two number eight who is more likely to date someone mm -hmm. based on their physical appearance Please you. speak for themselves. Excuse me. <laughs> Those that are still searching. <laughs> that is definitely you. No, I've changed nowadays. You changed. <laughs> the game has changed now that age is catching up. I consider you. either other things some ways. <laughs> but looks matter. <laughs> looks smarter, I know. And height. Yeah. Question nine. What is one personality trait that your sibling has that you wish you had? I like the way you she calls out people for their mistakes. I tend to suffer for so long because I can't simply call out people. So I keep a lot to myself instead of speaking out. Okay. You're thinking about it. Yeah, I have to <laughs> think. One personality I like about you is YOLO. <laughs> you know, for me it's very hard to just imagine. you. You only live once. <laughs> ah, she does not care where is tomorrow. Tomorrow will care for itself. I think that kind of attitude. And that is very good, especially for such times. Yeah. You know, if you're this person is ever worried about life, what will tomorrow bring? Yeah. How is my future tomorrow? You will never make it. So yeah. that's one thing I like about you. You live once. <laughs> you live in the moment. Yeah. It's funny that that's a good thing, but I also really admire you, how you're cautious about life. It's risky to live that way. <laughs> Getting cautious is also something to admire. <laughs> it is a, yeah. something to do away with. No more discussion there. <laughs> Question 10. Yeah. If you got called mm -hmm. that your sibling was in jail, what would be the first crime that comes to mind? <laughs> um, I don't do anything wrong. <laughs> ah, let me start. Okay. I, I think for you, it will be you. You. What is it called? You've not paid loan. <laughs> you default. Don't default. Yeah. But that would be my first suspicion that maybe she's been caught because <laughs> she's not paid loan. You have two questions in this life. For me, <laughs> also it has to do with money. You're an accountant, so book uh, balancing accounts. You might think yeah. that there's some fraud <laughs> using petty cash. <laughs> oh my goodness, no <laughs> integrity, <small>. integrity. <laughs> Question 11 <laughs> What is one physical trait mm. that your sibling has that you wished you had? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this one is funny because I know she's about to say <laughs> You guys are not prepared for it <laughs> Oh good Blasted boobs. boobs So you, you love my boobs? Yeah, 
to bigger goods. Oh. <laughs> Brother, and, then, thing. and then growing up I thought it would be a center a, a source of shame for me like I've got big boobs in my class primary class and I'm already feeling like oh goodness this is so shameful so much will tell then you right that. now it's admirable yeah it's... <laughs> we don't know what you have until <laughs> nobody should use it for marketing <laughs> yeah. Okay, for me, it's her long legs. I told you this girl has long legs. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which one of you is most likely to turn out like your mom? Just obvious. <laughs> She's the exact copy of our mom. Yes, her <laughs> mama's duplicate. She calls me duplicate in every, just like every way. Yeah. Physique, yeah. you know, character. Like hmm. yeah. And even interests. Yeah. We just flow. Even... In the spirit, <laughs> I can tell when my mom is sick and she's lying. I can tell. I can't. I feel it. I don't know. It's like it's just intrinsic. I, I just know yeah. my mom is not okay. You guys are close, also. Yeah. <laughs> Two hour call Mommy. every day. <laughs> yeah, she's also my document. I don't know if there's any if there's any gossip that my mom doesn't know. <laughs> especially about me growing up my boyfriends so if you're in my list of my boyfriends just know my mom knows you <laughs> my mom knows you and why we broke up <laughs> question 13 <laughs> have you ever had a crush on one of your siblings friend definitely for me no because she's younger no bentons for you. No, I can't do a younger man. And no, what am I doing with him? Yeah. Even months younger yeah. used to be an issue for me. Yeah. I had a crush on yeah. One oh, of your wow. <laughs> Which friends? Childhood, campus, or church friends? Campus. This, that time I came to visit you oh, in campus. Oh, and... yeah, I remember. <laughs> hey. But that time there are so many men. I've also known many... most of your friends all along. Because you have the same friends from campus and I know most of them. So it's one of them. <laughs> no telling. Maseno, guys. Maseno, see you guys. Who used to be my friends. My sister had a crush on one of you. <laughs> Question 14. As you near the finishing line, who has the best sense of style? <laughs> that one is Mary. <laughs> I'm the diva. You can, you can see it. she's the diva. Her nails, her hair. <laughs> the last question: What do you miss a lot about your sibling? Obviously, the food. I don't like cooking. She whips out very perfect meals. I have to cook every day nowadays, and yeah, like I miss that about her. Oh, <laughs> my food. Blame Thomas. <laughs> okay, for me, what I miss most about you is just keeping me updated. Yeah, like this girl is so current. You know, like the current vibes, what's trending, the current movie. You know, I don't watch movies, so. She will come with movies and tell me this is the trending stuff. You mean you're not following that person on Instagram? You're not following this person on Facebook? You've not heard of this story? Yeah, I miss that. Sometimes I feel like I'm so backward yeah. without you. <laughs> wow, it was such a nice time. Thank you for coming on my channel. I'm so glad you had me. I was the first to come on the channel. First guest. <laughs> I wish to host you several times on this channel yeah. and thank god for this lockdown <laughs> we got the opportunity to meet and do this video thank you so much for viewing i hope you've learned something or two about us and ensure you click the subscribe button so that you're not missed you don't miss out on the next video thank you so much see you in my next <laughs> bye bye <laughs>